Hey everyone, Cynix here, and I'm back for part two of our Puppet Time Design Lab. This is, of course, the part where I get to pick a handful of finalists, and you guys get to vote on the winner using the comments below. So you can either write a comment or simply give a thumbs up to a comment you agree with, and I'll do my best to sort it all out. The winner of this design lab is actually going to be made into a real life puppet, so pick whichever one you think will be the most fun. Before I get to the finalists, I would of course like to thank everyone who participated. I know that designing puppets wasn't the most exciting thing to do with your concept design skills, but hopefully some of you had fun trying it. And actually, let's take a moment to go over some of the more interesting and unique entries that didn't quite make it to the finals. So we got Virtual Soldier, who made this very interesting creature design puppet. The only downside is it's very creaturey, and I'm not sure how much personality I'd be able to put into puppeting it. But I do love his presentation. We also have Mehul, who made this very interesting dragon design that you use two hands to puppet, and the head can actually split apart. So that might be a fun puppet to try someday, especially if you want a creature to really traumatize some kids. Then we have Jackson Eli Gray, who gave us another gimmick puppet, and this one flips inside out in a very interesting way. I don't know how I feel about these incredibly disturbing little stubby armed uh, puppets though. I feel a little uncomfortable looking at them, but I appreciate the creativity. And speaking of creativity, Masi gave us this wonderful hand puppet, hand puppet, hand puppet. So you put your hand inside a giant puppet of a hand, which has a puppet on top of the puppet hand, and that puppet controls another puppet on its hand. So that's just wonderfully weird, although I think this thing might be about the size of a real person, so that might be a bit much for me. Let's see, what else do we have in this pile? We have this one by Swamli. It's a Sykra head mask. I guess that's kind of like a puppet. It looks like you just put it on your head, and then you turn into Sykra, and I guess you run around naked or something? I don't know, let's see what he says. Hey Cynics, it's me Sykra, but from the future I have found a loophole in space and time where I can send the secret internet file to the past. Huh, there's not much time, so follow me. Interesting. This is what the world looks like here in the future. It looks like that city's been photo bashed into Armageddon. Basically all good art is extinct, and now there is only fan art left in the world. We've got a little, little demon art flag. We are all in big danger. You are the chosen one, Cynics. You can save us by teaching kids how to draw for your puppet show. Save us, Cynics, so the kids can stop drawing Sonic with me. You're our only hope. Well, that's certainly an interesting entry. Uh, what else do we got? We have this very psychedelic entry by Wad Wizard, and I kind of like this one on the left. It's all floopy and weird, and I can almost picture it coming to life and being all crazy, like some kind of mutant fly pinata. We also have this touching tribute to Bob Meatbag by Fishgills, and I can actually see this one being pretty fun to puppet around. It's got the big screaming face, and he's also missing his arms, just like the real Bob Meatbag. But I think we would really need Bob himself in order to bring that one to life. Huh. We also have this Mr. Toilet. MR Toilet. I guess that's kind of adorable. And, huh. That's kind of weird. Cynic, stop f***ing around. Hurry, there is not enough time. Well, okay then, I guess we'll hop right on to the finalists. So, here we go. Please try to contain your voting for just these final entries. First up, we have this wonderful entry by Rusty, and he gave me a whole plethora of different puppet designs, including a Goat Ross, which is just adorable, and he is the greatest of all time, as well as some cute art robot, but I think the one I'll have to go with out of pure narcissism is the one based on me. So we have a little Cynics puppet in both male and female forms. That's a spoiler for the future. But anyway, it has my little bird on top, which is adorable. The next entry is by Raimi Blotchcat, and this feels like a proper Muppet that you might see on a children's educational show. They look like a little art teacher. 
Maybe that's a little too on the nose, but nonetheless, it's a fun puppet design. The hand placement is a little weird though. The third entry is by Go Hadouken, and it's Hugh and Cat, which is a very well thought out puppet. It's a little complicated, it's got a lot going on, but he goes through all of the different components in a very well thought out and structured way. So I really like his presentation, it's very charming, and the puppet seems nice. Next up we have Mag Shin, and he did a Floopsie puppet, so of course I had to include that. Floopsie is of course my wonderful original character, Do Not Steal. He is a flop hog, and he works the grill at McFloople's. Just an all around wonderful character, but obviously I'm a little biased. The fifth entry is by Spyro, and it's Heath the art student, and it seems like scarves and eyewear seem to be a popular theme I see in a lot of entries, but I thought this one was nice, and I enjoy the green skin color, and it just seems like it'd be fun to give personality to him. Oh, the adventures Heath might have. The sixth entry I picked was this very crude one by Cyborg Zloth. The presentation is straightforward, but I really like this character design he went with. The arm proportions are nice, and the overall character has a very simple, yet effective personality to it. I just find it very easy to picture this guy as a real puppet. And finally, the last finalist I chose for you guys is Moncier. He gave me a little combination of different cute little puppets. I like the little monkey and all the different stuff going on. But I think the one that I'm most drawn to would probably be the weird Bry Finger guy. He's got that strange head shape and I can just picture him emoting a very fun vibe. So that's gonna do it for my final selections. I apologize if one of your favorites wasn't chosen. It's always a bit difficult for me to decide which ones to include. I really did have fun looking at all the entries and I'm really looking forward to seeing which one you guys pick as the winner. Once again, just leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, it'll be great. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching and also of course a big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. You guys are making this stuff happen.